free college of football picks. We've got some week uh, three action. We have 15 games here with our part uh, of oh, part three. We call it part four, actually, for uh, uh, when uh, for this uh, week. Uh, we're going to cover all 61 games. We have on this on this part before we have three of the, three of the games here uh, for Friday. We have 12 for Saturday. So it's a 15 game uh, video here for you guys. Before we get started, just a couple of things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free college football picks are updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have NFL. We have uh, Major League Baseball and NBA coming shortly. So it's a good time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, hit the thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit Tony'sPicks.com or multi-capper site showcasing top cappers in our industry. Click the link to the hot cappers and get signed up. Uh, as you can see here, we got hot cappers like Hollywood Sam, who's been on absolute fire. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Mindy, he's been doing well. I come, I am the top unit producer in baseball this year. We can see some of our NFL producers this year who have been on fire. Uh, guys like Ramon and Ben have been on fire. Tiffany's been hot. Of course, so just click the links, guys. Get signed up to the hand, to our handicappers. Our VIP has been hot here in, in college football. So is Mindy. So you can see we've got some really top performers going on right now over at TonySpeaks.com. Click the link, get signed up to one of their passes. You'll find our premium picks at the top of the page, as well as our, our menu here with our free picks. And you'll find here as you go to the center of the page, our featured cappers with their featured picks of the day. You'll also see each capper can designate one best bet per day on their card. They can also select a $15 premium pick as well on their card. You can see there, many of them make their best bet, their, their, their $15 premium pick their best bet, as we see here with some of our cappers. And of course, our promo code, you can save 20% off all premium pick packages. When you use that promo code Tony T at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link over in the description, then click the all cappers tab to get signed up. Also love to hear from guys, so post your picks in the comments below. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Virginia versus Syracuse college football pick for Friday's action. Now, Virginia improved to 2-1 after their 16-14 home into Old Dominion. They did move the football for 513 yards on the Monarchs, but fumbled the ball away three times. Quarterback Brendan Armstrong is battling accuracy issues, completing just 53% of his passes with two touchdowns, three picks, but seven yards per pass attempt. Defense has shown improvement from previous seasons, holding opponents to 350 yards, 4.2 yards per rush, 6.2 per pass attempt. Two weak opponents on their on their of their three on their schedules. The Cavaliers lost 24-3 at Illinois, allowing 397 yards. Syracuse, they're 3-0 after their 32-29 home win to Purdue. Syracuse quarterback Garrett Schrader was inaccurate, just 13 of 29, but had three touchdowns and the game winner with 25 yards with seven seconds remaining. Defensively, the Orange held the Boilermakers run game in check, but allowed 424 yards passing on 55 attempts. Both defenses limiting run production. But Orange are putting points on the board, and Virginia isn't. The play here is Syracuse, minus 9.5. Nevada versus Air Force, college football pick. This one goes off here on Friday. Nevada fell to 2-2 two and two after their 27-0 road defeat at Iowa. This rebuilding Wolfpack team gained only 151 yards in defeat, unable to really tally over 100 yards on the run or pass. Oklahoma State transfer quarterback Shane Ingsworth completing only 60% of his passes, but for four, only 4.4 yards per pass attempt. The Wolfpack also a home loss to FCS Incarnate Word, 55-41, giving up 623 yards. Air Force drops a 2-1 after a bad loss, 17-14, and Wyoming behind only 272 yards of offense. Defense uh, struggled defending the Cowboys' run game, giving up 180 yards on 35 carries for over 5 yards per attempt. Now, Falcons did produce points at home to Colorado with 41 and, and 487 yards in their win. At home, expect offensive production from the Falcons here. Back-to-back -back road games from Nevada on a short week after playing at a physical Iowa team. The play here at Air Force in Nevada over 46. Boise State in Utah. College football pick. This one is on Friday On Friday here. Boise State improves to 2-1 after their 30-7 home win to FCS Tennessee Martin behind only 327 yards. Offense has not clicked for the Broncos, averaging only 318 yards. Now, in their loss at Oregon State, the Broncos gave up 470 yards with 293 passing. Quarterback Hank Bachmeyer is completing 63% of his passes with five touchdowns, three picks, and only 6.7 yards per pass attempt. UTEP falls to 1-3 after their 27-10 road defeat at New Mexico. Miners' ground game stalled with only 55 yards on 20 carries against the Lobos. It was a disaster for UTEP, committing seven turnovers. Defense played well, holding New Mexico to 29 yards and only 111 yards rushing, only 111 yards passing on 19 attempts. 
Miners quarterback Gavin Hardison only completing 49% of his passes with 5.6 yards per pass attempt. But UTEP will be challenged moving the football on this Broncos team. They are giving up three sacks a game and converting only 30% on third down. The play here will be Boise State and UTEP to go under 45 and a half. Akron versus Liberty College football pick. This one is on Saturday. Akron drops to 1-2 and two with their 63-6 road defeat at Tennessee. Zip's defense was crushed, giving up 676 yards to the Volunteers with 437 passing. The only win came at home to an FCS school, Stephen F. Austin, 30-23 in overtime. They had a row game at Michigan State getting beat 52 zip, allowing 498 yards. Zip's quarterback DJ Irons threw the ball 44 times against the Vols, averaging only 5.5 per attempt. Liberty drops to 2 and 1 after the 37-36 road defeat at Wake Forest. Flames move the football for 437 yards. Starting quarterback Caden Salter has an ankle injury and unlikely to play. Alabama transfer Jonathan Bennett to start. He saw work in two games hitting on 7 of 21 with no touchdowns to three picks. Liberty starting quarterback Charlie Brewer out for the season, so third stringer Bennett gets the nod here. Third straight road game for the Zips getting as they getting beat up physically at Michigan State and Tennessee. Flames are running for 204 yards, 4.8 yards per attempt. Expect Liberty's run game to run the ball heavily here with success. The play here, Liberty minus 26 and a half. Rice versus Houston. College football pick for action on Saturday. Rice moves to 2 and 1 after the 33 21 home win to Louisiana. Now, Owls put on a monster defensive performance, holding the Raging Cajuns to 175 yards. Rice quarterback TJ McMahon completed 69% of his passes with three touchdowns, but three picks. Now, Houston, they're 1 and 2 after a 48 30 home loss to Kansas. Cougars struggled to, uh, in run defense, giving up 280 yards on 43 car carries behind that dual threat quarterback there for the Jayhawks. Houston offense did move the football for 396 yards. Now, Clayton Toon, while well, he's completing uh, complete 71% of his passes, 272 yards, 8.8 yards per attempt. That was an improvement after a poor showing on the road to Texas Tech. But Houston defense and run game a concern laying this big number against an improving Alice team. The player will be Rice at plus 17 and a half. UNLV, UNLV and Utah State College football pick this one Saturday. UNLV improves at 2-1 and one after their 58-27 home win to North Texas. Monster performance on the ground for the Rebels. They gained 365 rushing yards on 51 carries. Defense did give up 474 yards to the Mean Green, 305 yards passing on 30 attempts. Quarterback Doug Brumfield with his run game on fire hit on 21-27, 211 yards and two touchdowns. He did bounce back from an inaccurate performance at Cal. Utah State fell to 1-2 after their 35-7 home defeat to FCS school Weber State. Aggies gained only 283 yards on their FCS opponent. Quarterback Logan Bonner, an Arkansas State transfer, completing 51% of his passes for 6.4 yards per attempt, a career low. His backup, Cooper Legas, inaccurate as well, 41% completion rate. Now, Rebels in their road game, a close loss at Cal. A lot, a lot of things wrong right now for Utah State. The play here will be UNLV, minus three. Northern Illinois and Kentucky college football pick. This one is on Saturday. Northern Kentucky fell to 1-2 after their 38-28 home defeat to Vanderbilt. Huskies up 28-14 midway through the third quarter, give up the final 24 points. NIU defense gave up 428 yards to the Commodores with 255 passing on 28 attempts. Now Michigan State transfer quarterback Rocky Lombardi had to exit last week's game with a knee injury. Back up Ethan Hampton at 12-19 of for 124 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. But he led the Huskies during their scoring drought. Kentucky is a 3-0 with their 31-0 home win to FCS Youngstown State. Wildcats piled up 480 yards on their FCS opponents. Quarterback Will Levis completing 67% of his passes with six touchdowns, four picks, 9.7 yards per pass attempt. Now, Northern Illinois pass defense is concerned as they're giving up 284 yards a game, 65% completion rate, 9 yards per pass attempt. Wildcats defense has been outstanding. Now, Kentucky's at Ole Miss next week, so Kentucky may shorten this game with Clock draining drives late. Play here, Northern Illinois, plus 26. <clears throat> Iowa versus Rutgers. College football pick. This one here is on Saturday. Iowa improved a 2-1 after their 27-0 home win to Nevada behind only 339 yards. Another strong defensive performance holding the rebuilding Wolfpack offense at 151 yards. Quarterback Spencer P Petrus completing only 48% of his passes with 4.9 yards per pass attempt. Better showing against Nevada, but only 54% completion rate. 
Rutgers improved to 3-0 after their 16-14 road win at, uh, at, uh, at, at Temple behind only 206 yards, and that's offensively. Scarlet Knights uh, starting quarterback Noah Vidral has been injured and is a game-time decision, hasn't played this season. The two backups have split time, completing 59% of, of, of their passes. Both defenses smothering the run. Rutgers allowing 1.2 yards per rush, Iowa 2.1. Hawkeyes were held to seven points at home to Iowa State and South Dakota State, and this will be their first two road game to play. It'll be Rutgers plus seven and a half. Southern Miss versus Tulane College football pick for Saturday. Southern Miss moves to one and two after their 64 to 10 home win to FCS Northwestern State behind 588 yards. They covered in a road loss at Miami and at home by two in overtime to Liberty. Quarterback Zach Wild hitting on. 55% of his passes with 6.9 yards per pass attempt. Tulane 3-0 after their 17-10 road win at Kansas State. Defense allowed 20 points this season. Green Wave was held to, held to Wildcats at 336 yards, only 150 passing on 31 attempts. Green Wave quarterback Michael Pratt, a poor game against the Wildcats, completing 50% of his uh, passes with a touchdown, two picks, 6.8 yards per pass attempt. Tulane holding teams at 220 yards on the season. Green Wave getting production from the ground game and concern about Wild in this road uh, stop spot here against a good defense. The play here will be Tulane and Southern Miss under 48 and a half. Louisiana Tech and South Alabama college football pick for Saturday. Louisiana Tech fell to 1 and 2 after their 48 to 20 road defeat at Clemson. In their other FBS game, they were blown out at Missouri 52 24. Tigers covered the big number against uh, in, in that. Uh, in that uh, loss here, just to say here the Bulldogs did cover that number, that big loss to the Tigers with 14 points in the final quarter when the game was decided. Now, the defense allowed 521 yards. Quarterback Parker McNeil did go 23 of 42 for 311 yards, a touchdown and two picks against Clemson with 7.4 yards per pass attempt. On the season, Parker is averaging 8.6 yards per attempt. Now, South Alabama drops a 2-1 with their 32-31 road defeat at UCLA as they gained 399 yards on that Bruins deep. Bulldogs lose on a 24-yard field goal last time expired. Now, Jaguars piled up 162 rushing yards in the Bruins on 34 carries. Toledo transfer quarterback Carter Bradley is completing 67% of his passes with 8.1 yards per pass attempt. He had a big game at Central Michigan, 339 passing yards, 8.1 per attempt. Louisiana Tech passing game keeps them in this one. The play here will be Louisiana Tech at plus 13 and a half. Arkansas State versus Texas A&M. Sorry, Arkansas versus Texas A&M College. Football pick here for action here on Saturday. Game is on a neutral site. Arkansas 3-0 after their 38-27 home win to FCS Missouri State behind 600 yards. Strong offensive performances for the Razorbacks in wins against Cincinnati and South Carolina. Quarterback K.J. Jefferson completing 70% of his throws. Six touchdowns, one pick, and nearly 10 yards for pass attempt was accurate in their wins against Cincinnati and South Carolina. Texas A&M 2-1 with that 17-9 home win to Miami behind only 265 yards. Aggies limited the Hurricanes to 217 passing yards and 41 carries. Quarterback Max Johnson will always complete 54% of his passes with 6.3 yards per pass attempt. Razorbacks defense holding opponents to just 2.2 yards per rush. Razorbacks weak in pass defense, but A&M may not be able to exploit it. The play here will be Arkansas at plus 2. FAU versus Purdue, college football pick. This one goes off on Saturday. FAU fell to 2-2 two two after their 40-14 home defeat to UCF. Owls held to only 296 yards in defeat. Florida Atlantic defense was torched here. 653 yards they allowed, 314 on the ground, 55 carries. FAU quarterback Nicosi Perry completed 58% of his passes with 10 touchdowns, 2 picks, 8 yards per pass attempt for this season. A very poor performance against UCF, though. But the schedule has been weak with games against Charlotte, Ohio, and Southeast Louisiana prior to playing UCF. Purdue drops to 1-2 after their 32-29 road defeat at Syracuse. Run game sputter for the Boilermakers. Another one-dimensional performance here. Uh, to 61 yards or rushing on 22 carries. Purdue gave up only 360 yards to the Orange. Quarterback Aiden O'Connell, a one-man gang here, completing 64% of his passes, 7.5 yards for pass attempt. Was productive in the loss at Syracuse. Now, you know, these are two offenses that can move the football. O'Connell should torch this FAU pass defense, but not confident lane. 
the 17 and a half here with Perry, a capable quarterback. The play here will be FAU and Purdue over 59. Marshall versus Troy, college football pick for Saturday. Marshall fell to 2 and 1 after their 34 31 road defeat to Bowling Green. They couldn't build on a win at Notre Dame the week prior. Thundering Hurt lose despite 547 offensive yards, but had a minus three turnover margin. They did allow 300 passing yards to the Falcons on 47 attempts and four touchdown passes. Thundering Hurt quarterback Henry Columbi completing 78% of his passes with four touchdowns and two picks. The Texas, Texas Tech transfer averaging 8.5 yards per attempt. Troy fell to 1 and 2 with their 32 28 road defeat at Appalachian State behind a 53 yard touchdown pass as time expired. Trojans did give up 453 yards to the Mountaineers with 161 rushing. Trojans' run game stalled. Quarterback Gunnar Watson threw for 302 yards, 8.2 yards per attempt on App State. Now, Watson has been accurate this season, but has four picks. Trojans have covered both their uh, FBS games this season with production out of their passing game. Marshall passed defense to concern the play. Here will be Troy plus three. UConn versus NC State college football pick for Saturday. UConn fell to 1-3 after their 59-zip road defeat at Michigan. Huskies offense gained only 110 yards in, de uh, in defeat the previous week, and they had only 202 yards and a 34-point home loss to Syracuse. Quarterback Zion Turner, a freshman, is completing only 51% of his passes with 4.5 yards per pass attempt. Run game hasn't produced much on Michigan and Syracuse. NC State 3-0. After their 27 to 14 home win to Texas Tech, now NC State wins despite only 270 yards, but they smothered the Red Raiders' run game and forced four turnovers. NC State quarterback Devin Leary completing 59% of his passes with seven yards per attempt. These numbers are down from his previous two seasons. Huskies will struggle to get points on the board. The play here at UConn, NC State under 49 and a half. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt and Alabama college football pick. This one here is on Saturday. Vanderbilt improved as a 3-1 with their 38-28 road win at Northern Illinois. Commodores held the Huskies scoreless in the final 27 minutes of their game, overcoming a 28-14 deficit. They moved the football for 428 yards, 173 rushing. Quarterback A.J. Swan, a freshman, is completing 63% of his passes with six touchdowns, no picks, 9.8 yards per pass attempt. Alabama improved to 3-0 with their 63-7 home win to UL Monroe behind 509 yards. Wins by 56 and 55 in their two home games where they have averaged 534 yards and give up 152 yards per game. Back-to-back -back road games for the Commodores who have a 45-25 home loss to Wake Forest giving up 451 yards. Freshman quarterback going into Alabama for the, uh, against the Crimson Tide here in, in their SEC opener. Really a tough spot for, the, for this uh, freshman quarterback here for the Commodores, the play here will be Alabama minus 40 and a half. That was our college football pick show here for Friday. Stay tuned here for many of our live shows on Friday's action. And of course, make sure to like, subscribe, set notifications. Tony T back with more picks later.